All right, let's take a moment to figure out if you know how to solve this algebra equation. This one might look a bit tricky at first glance, and I can guarantee that a lot of people would feel confused just trying to figure out where to even start. When they see a problem like this, something involving exponents and different bases, in this case, 9 and minus 3, it's easy to feel stuck. But don't worry, we're going to break it down step by step and make it manageable. Got an idea for the answer? Go ahead and drop it in the comment section, I want to see what you've got. In just a second, I'll reveal the correct solution and, of course, and walk you through the problem step by step so you can, can check my approach. So we have 9 to the x power, we add minus 3 to the power x and get 702. What is x can be? Alright, the key to solving this question lies in recognizing the relationship between 9 and minus 3. By relationship, I mean how one can be expressed in terms of the other. Specifically, if you take minus 3 and raise it to the power of 2, you'll see that it equals 9. This connection is crucial because it allows us to rewrite the equation in a way that simplifies the problem and makes it easier to solve. Understanding this relationship is the first step toward cracking this problem. With this insight in hand, let's take the next step and update the equation accordingly. By substituting 9 with minus 3 to power 2, we can rewrite the equation in a way that highlights the relationship between the two terms. Now, let's apply the power rule to simplify things further. The power rule tells us that when dealing with exponents, we have the flexibility to rearrange the order of the powers. This means we can take the x and move it inside the parentheses, combining it with the base, and take the 2 and move it outside the parentheses. Alright, by now, a little bell should be ringing in your mind, maybe even one of those big cathedral bells that echoes for miles. Can you see it yet? Take a good look at what we're dealing with here, we've got something, and then we're adding that same something raised to the power of 2, and it's all equal to a number. Sound familiar? It's like the equation is standing there, waving its hands frantically, yelling, hey, I'm a quadratic. You've seen me before, right? It's practically begging you to recognize it. If it hasn't clicked for you just yet, don't worry, we'll break it down even further. Let's introduce a little substitution to make things clearer. Let's say a is minus 3 to the power of x. So, if we replace minus 3 to the power of x with a in the original equation, what do we end up with? It's like giving the equation a quick makeover to reveal its true form, just a simple quadratic equation. And of course, we all know how to solve a quadratic equation, it's like a well-practiced routine by now, right? First, we do the classic move, we shift all the terms over to the left side of the equation, so that the right side becomes zero. This step is like clearing the stage before the big performance, it makes everything neat and ready for action. Once we've got everything on the left side, we're all set to apply a familiar, trusty formula. You know the one, the quadratic formula, that magical equation that helps us solve for the unknowns. So let's do the math. So, after going through the steps, we arrive at our two possible solutions, a1 equals minus 27 and a2 equals 26. But wait, remember, the question didn't ask for a, it asked for x. So, we still need to go a step further and solve for x in both cases. We're so close now, let's finish this up. The first case is a 1 equals minus 27. It is easy to see that x is 3 since minus 3 to the power of 3 is minus 27. So, that's one solution down. Let's check it and see, 9 to power of 3 is 729. Now let's add to it minus 3 to power of 3 which equal to minus 27 and we get 702. The second case is a 2 equals 26. Now, this is where things get fun. It doesn't have a simple, neat integer solution like the first one. In fact, to solve for x here, we need to use logarithms. Take the logarithm of both sides. However, here's the issue, log minus 3 is undefined in the real number system, 
because logarithms of negative numbers don't exist for real values. This means there's no real solution to the equation. So, after working through all the steps and considering both cases, we can confidently say that the only valid solution here is x equals 3. Now, can you use this trick to found x in this equation, 4 4 to their power x minua 8 2 to power of x equals 5? <laughs>